In the mid-15th century, the sea route to India was discovered by the Portuguese navigator Vasco da Gama. For a time, Lisbon became the center for merchant expeditions. Ship convoys set out regularly for voyages lasting several months. They had to brave dangers at sea, extreme weather, near equatorial Africa, and overcome enormous waves and ocean whirlpools around the Cape of Good Hope. Not all the ships returned back to Lisbon. South Africa's west coast is affected by the strong and exceptionally cold Benguela current. The coastline is often shrouded in fog. Precipitation is rare and water is only brought in from inland by rivers. The world's oldest deserts have formed here over millions of years. On the coast of Namibia, in the closely guarded region of Oranjamund, diamond mining has yielded some interesting discoveries. Decaying pieces of wood and metal objects led the archaeologists to a unique find of global importance, a 500-year-old shipwreck. In a global first, the discovery of a ship with its precious cargo and the unique find of a large amount of copper was made. For quite some time, scientists were busy analyzing the discovered artifacts. They were searching for answers to many questions. Answering one of them, why was the historical ship carrying so much copper, required a meticulous review of the historical context in Europe. Let us try and explain the importance and the role of copper in history, explore its trade routes, identify historic milestones, and find the place of its origin. Ars Arete Civic Association presents a documentary film. The Voyages of Copper, part one. English translation.